Hello, so today we are going to be doing a simple rock while I test this live stream. I'm using Posca pens and I have painted my rocks a flat black with apple barrel black. So we're just going to do some quick little lettering. Actually, I'll probably... Let me do it this way first. So we're going to have a flower on this side and then just a little, I don't know, we can do something like you can do, you can do it, yeah. So we'll just do some block lettering, you, and I'll do can, do Okay, so that just kind of gives me, I don't know if you can see it, it gives me kind of a, a starting spot to know that with this gapping, I'm going to have to raise this up a little bit. So we can just erase all of this. Just, I'm going to take a paintbrush and just some water. And I can get all that off of there. And it should dry pretty fast. Yeah. So there we go. So we know we need to raise that up a little bit. And normally, if you're going to try to work out your spacing, these these words are pretty small. Uh, so it's not as imperative, but what you would normally do is start with the middle letter of the word. So in this case, it would be the O. So we would tie it, draw out the O where we want it. And then we'll know where we want our spacing for the other letters. And so we want these kind of block letters. And then here we would do the A, and we may, let's, let's do this kind of an A. And that's a little too far over. And so by starting with the middle letter, it really helps you with your spacing. You can, and then here we'll do we'll try to center it underneath here and here. The Between the C and the A, we'll put the D. And then Still kind of running out of space due to the way this rock is made, but I think that'll be okay. You can do it. And then over here, we're just going to have a simple flower. is pull it down like this. So there we go. I got my paper all crazy. So now I'm just going to take a white pen. I'm going to do my lettering in white. Let's see, I may do one side thick and one side thin of my letters. Let's 
We'll see how that looks first. And now we're just tracing this out since we've already done it. And I used a General's charcoal white pencil to trace this. Or not trace it, to uh, draw it out. I'm going to put an exclamation point over here like this. Just as something over there. Just to kind of fill in that little spot. So now I think I'll do a pink and red flower. I'm going to shake these pins up good. And I'm going to do the center pink. This may take a couple of coats because I am doing this on a black background. But these do have really good coverage. I'm pretty impressed with how good the coverage is. And these are just kind of circles. all I'm doing here. And one way to prevent your pen from skipping and sputtering is to drag towards you, not away from you. I find that I get less uh, uh, where it gets caught in the grooves of my rock if I pull towards me. Just keep adding layers and that'll fill in where we'll see if that's gonna need another coat. And that was a purple pen. I said I was gonna use red and I guess I grabbed the purple. Now we're going to, let's see, let's use a light green. This is the way my mom taught me how to paint flowers when I was little. She always had the flower kind of like tilting over. So that's the way I've always drawn them.
So I just made a little heart down here. And that makes my little leaves, the little heart down there. And we'll put one more coat on here to make sure that the purple stands out and that our little petals are the shape we want. If you don't like the gap in between the petals, you can make them wider so that they touch. I'm going to just leave them the way they are. And I'm going to do one more coat of pink. And there we go. Let's see. I may take a dark green and just go down here along this petal. Or not this petal, this stem to kind of create a shadow. Just some interest on here. Since I do have two greens, I can kind of add a little bit of a a little bit of a shadow there. I might take some blue and just draw out some little blue from the center. It's kind of like a shadow, so it makes the leaves. Or the petals look like they're kind of sunk in here in the middle. That'll just give it a little interest. And there you go. You can. It can be kind of hard to see that. But there's a quick little rock. While we test the live stream, now I can take my, once these are dry, I can go over my charcoal lines, and this will pretty much just dissolve them right off there. You definitely want to make sure your pen is dry, though, because it was this will remove some of the paint if it's not. And there we go. These will be rocks that I'm going to hide in my community. I could do another one that says, let's do one that's, let's see, how do we want to do this? I can do like inspire, or I could do it in cursive, oh, we better do it in we better do it in letters like this because I think nowadays kids don't learn how to do cursive so they may not even know how to read it. So, I may be aging myself there. Let's see. So we have inspire, the word inspire. Let me erase this one. And we are going to, again, find the middle letter. So there's 
three, four, five, six, seven letters that inspire. The P is the middle letter, so we're going to start with the P. And I want this to be about right here. I'm just going to draw a line because my flower is going to go on this side. Let me turn on another light and see if that doesn't help. Maybe you can see better. Um, here is going to be the line. So right here is going to be the center. So we're going to put our P right here. And we're just going to kind of write it all in. So we have the I, R, E. And we'll have S, N, and then a big I here. All right, so now I can start kind of working on how I want my letters to be shaped. If I want to add little tails or anything whimsical, I can do that here. Try to give everything kind of a, a tail. And there we go. So that's going to be my inspire. And then I'm going to again do the word inspire in white. And I just do that. I like white for the word because I feel like it really stands out against this black background. And that's pretty easy so let's see maybe we'll do yellow and red I'll put the over here so that I actually use the colors I say I'm going to okay we're gonna start with a circle in the center And then I may do a different, let's see if that's what, you want to make sure not to rest your hand on that if it is not dry. So I'm going to do a different kind of flower. I'm going to go thinner leaves here. And I'm going to, you see I'm draw, dragging the pin towards me that will cut down on sputtering, spitting and sputtering. And we'll let that dry. I think what I'll do is grab some green. And I'm just going to come up in here and pull a stem down like this.
Now we'll go back over the red just to darken it because I'm using a black background. Sometimes it takes a couple of layers to get the take a couple of layers to get the paint to kind of pop on this black. Sometimes it's nice to do just these simple rocks for a change. we go. Now while I'm letting that paint dry, this side is all dry. So I'm going to remove this uh, line I painted on there or drew on there with my charcoal pencil. But see the charcoal pencil will come right off. You definitely want to make sure that your paint is dry before you do this because this will smear it. I don't have one over there. And there we go. It's all all done. It's just as simple as that. And these are great little rocks to hide. So I have one. Let's see. I did one here that said hope. Let me put another layer of paint right here. See, the rocks don't always have to be really elaborate. I think these rocks are beautiful just in their simplicity. So that's not a very good rock to paint on. Let's see, I could probably do one here. Let's see. How would we do this? Maybe put the flower on this side. Maybe I'll put dream on this side. So with the word dream, like this. So we have dream. And dream being five letters doesn't have a middle letter. So we're going to just work on the E and the A. We're going to put those down. Again, I'm going to probably cut this rock about right here. And I want the dream here, so we're going to, let's see, we'll put the E here. And I think I'll do this kind of an A. And then M. And then R. And I want the D to come out like this. So now I can start building on these letters. I'm going to do tails on these again. So once you get them kind of put in there, now you can work on kind of your spacing. If you want to thicken your letters up or whatever. I like to make mine look thicker. So this 
M may need to come down a little bit. It looks like it's a little high. There we go. So we'll do Dream. Again, we'll do that in white. And see my Dream. Another tip I can give you is not to press too hard with your paint pen. Just let it kind of flow. And then hopefully it won't snag on the texture of your rock. And then I think I'll do pink and yellow. For this one, I'm going to do a yellow center. And I think I will do the same kind of flower that I did on the Inspire. I like that kind of flower. So I just start at a point out here. And you're doing like an ellipses. Is that right? What would that be? And then we're going to come out here. Do one right here. There we go. And if you feel like you've got ones that are too short, you can always just lengthen them out. I got one that's too short there. And there we go. What I may do is go ahead and add another one right here. I think I'm going to add one right on top. Right about here. And I want, I don't want to interfere with that one, so I'm going to come off this way. And then hopefully I won't I won't get in it. If I come this way. Nope, I'm still going to. Yeah, they're going to bump. Or maybe I could do one here and one here. I'm just trying to avoid running into that. So, what I think I'm going to do. Let's do these big ones here, and then I'm going to do little ones right here that come off like this. That way they're consistent.
Just two different kinds of flower. I don't know if I like this one that much. But if you don't like something, I can take my paint. This is my background paint. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So we are just going to paint over this completely. It's not a big deal. If I don't like it, I'll just I'll just change it. I dip my paintbrush way too far in there. And then go over it a couple of times to get rid of your brush strokes. I'm at it, I'll just take away the center line that I have there for dividing my rock up to know where my lettering was going to be. I'll just go ahead and paint over it since I have my paint out. Not a big deal. Now I'm going to rinse my paintbrush here. And there we go. And then when I set them aside, I like to make sure these are rounds, round paintbrush. So I like to make sure I put the point back on it and then I can set it right back in there. So we're just going to leave the one flower this time. And then I'm going to just come up here and draw down a line. And a little leaf. Be careful not to drag away from you. It's more likely to create problems. And there we go. Let that dry. <clears throat> And now this is dry, I think, yeah, I can, sometimes you, you can just rub that charcoal off, charcoal pencil off, but I'm going to go ahead and hit these little areas, get those off. And there we go. So see in a very quick time we've been able to make four quick little flowers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again I was just testing out a live stream and recorded it while I was testing. So I'm going to probably go ahead and put this up on YouTube just as a standalone video. And in the future, I'm hoping to have some live streams either on Facebook, YouTube, or my Patreon page uh, if everything went well with this video. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.